Well, now, it is officially the holiday weekend for so many. And while so much of this time of year is based around honored traditions, it also provides a chance to make new ones. Penny your size, Brett Hall joins us now with special deliveries in Portsmouth. Brett? Tom, Thanksgiving about reflection, too. And this year, it was reflection that led a woman living in Baltimore to flood Portsmouth neighborhoods with food. Usually, the sound of a horn means, look, get out of the way. But on this Thanksgiving Eve, it's a signal to gather and receive. Yes, we're bringing some Thanksgiving items here. Mercy Drops gives out meals often. People living in the Swanson and Dale Homes public housing complexes know them well. But Elena Glover wanted to make sure their Thanksgivings were covered too. We shot to Roger Brown's. They were more than happy to prepare meals for people to be able to have a hot meal. Glover doesn't live here anymore. She's an attorney in Baltimore. But in 2021, she was drawn back to her hometown twice to mourn the loss of both of her grandparents. Both of them were very committed to serving to the community, giving back to others. Giving back to others who have less. I really wanted to establish something to be able to give back to the community. And giving back to this community. We're here to see you. Runs in the family. Yes. Mayor Shannon Glover is her dad. Is it turkey for you? Thank you. And here's some other food. It's safe to say we're seeing the start of a new tradition in Portsmouth. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Blessings flow to all when we receive thanks. Thank you. Take care. Now. Take care. <laughs> all right. For our giving. Seeing the smiles on people's faces is really making our day. Certainly made mine too. And of course, Mercy Drops runs on donations. So if you want to play and roll in what happened today, we have information for you on wavy.com. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.